So, um, engine lights back on on my car. In 1.2 miles, keep right <laughs> onto State Route 52. Sometimes I feel like I can't catch a break on this. Uh, I called Tires Plus and let them know, and I have Monday off. I was really, really hoping to do the paneling on Monday since I'm off. But I guess instead I will sit and wait and find out why the engine light came back on my car. Really? Really? It'll be okay. It will be Stay in the okay. middle lane. If I say that enough times. <laughs> oh. oh. Anyway. Um, I was going to do this anyway tonight, but I really didn't plan on the seeing the engine light come on my car while I'm driving down the interstate when I just spent over thirteen hundred dollars to have it fixed. Keep right onto State Route 52. Oh, I've had I had a question earlier, and sometimes I I can't get to answering all the comments and I don't want anyone to feel like I'm ignoring them or anything like that because I really In I really do appreciate miles, turn right all onto US 301 the, the the positive um, comments you know it, it means a great deal to me I mean I expect negative ones and stuff too but that's just part of life that is one of the greatest things about our country is we can have different views about things and I have been trying to keep a positive attitude and everything, but there is always a darker side. And I thought about doing some videos on the darker side. Well, I did one. I did one, but I left it as private. I don't think I was quite ready for that yet. But I am. I, I will start doing, you know, the darker side of life that we all, you know... It's not all sunshines and roses, believe me. It's not. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm doing everything I can just to hold my shit together, you know. And I cannot believe that engine light's on. Um, but a yeah, question was asked if about getting married again, and I'm gonna have to tell. I'm telling you right now, it, it's it's not about that. I would like someone to share life's adventure with, and I mean, an adventure, I mean, I want to walk on the beach in the moonlight. I, I would love to make love on the beach. I would, I want someone who wants to be a tourist in Florida with me, you know, and enjoy all these amazing parks, and, and I don't just mean the theme parks and everything, but I would like someone to walk, ride some of these water rides with me. But I mean, I, there, there are so many nature hike trails here. It, it just, it's, a, it's beautiful. I, I never expected this of Florida. I guess being from Wyoming, every time I thought about Florida, I guess Miami Vice went through my head and I'm like, no way, you know, but it's not. And I don't think I, I don't know why I didn't think about the fact that there's farmland and nature, so much nature here. And everyone laughs at me because I think armadillos are so damn cute. I mean, we don't have them in Wyoming, you know. They're, they they dig holes in the yard. I know, but they're still cute, okay. Um, but as far as getting, I, it would have to be extraordinary, and I mean extraordinary, because it is someone I'm bringing into not just my adult children's lives, but my grandchildren's lives, you know, and. And they'd have to understand that family is the most important thing to me. I have, yes, my ex-husband took care of things financially and allowed me to stay home for 27 years. And I did. And I took care of him and the house and the kids. I was um, their, their support and their disciplinarian. You know, most of the time I felt like, you know, John wanted to... Uh, He'd rather be at the bar. And we were a family of convenience for him. You know, he wanted bragging rights of us from when we were doing great. But when things went bad, 
kids got in trouble or something. He also had someone to blame, and that was me. You know, but I, it's it's just the way it's the way it was. You know, but he he did provide the income. You know, to for the kids and for me and to, not a my my grandparents and my mom helped us a lot. I think he doesn't quite remember that, but. But I was so busy taking care of other people's needs and desires that for once I would like someone to take care of mine. You know, um, I dated one guy for seven months and the relationship ended because I worked too much and he was retired and he wanted to go on cruises all the time. Well, I can't. I have to work. I, my ends don't meet. I'm trying. I stretch them. I stretch them a lot. And sometimes they still don't meet. And it is stressful. And I have to work. And when I can get overtime, I have to take advantage of that as much as possible. Because Home Depot doesn't like doing overtime at all. And so when I can get it authorized for me to work longer, I have to. The, the overtime is, is grocery money, you know, so I have to work. And I can't go take off from work and I can't go on cruises. And he told me he didn't want to worry about cheating on me. Well, those were the magic words. You know, I forgave six affairs that I knew of. I didn't forgive number seven. And he still, I still want to see you on your days off and stuff. And, uh, uh, no, no, I don't share. I won't share ever again. And I will come first in someone's life or I will take, continue doing what I'm doing, you know? And right now I am finding out things that I like. Like I said, I, I, it was always about what the kids and my ex-husband and trying to be everything that they needed me to be that I was trying to figure out if I liked canning, if I truly enjoyed it, or if it was something I did to take care of my family. You know, making soaps and lotions, I love doing those kind of things, I did. I can't do them now, it's, it's an expensive hobby. You know, um, but yeah, as far as getting married again, it would have to be extraordinary and they would have to be someone I am willing to bring into my grandchildren's lives. And once I do that, it's, I'm, I'm not bringing people in and out of their lives. I, I'm just not. So it I don't I don't know I don't know I right now I can honestly say I don't see myself doing that because like I said it's I would love to give my grandchildren a grandpa you know that wanted to do things that would get on the floor and play with them or teach them how to hunt or shoot bows, fish, you know, but they have a grandmother who can do all that too. So like I said, it would have to be someone who was extraordinary, you know, and yeah, there are times, yeah, I, I would like to come home to someone, but not, not always, you know, I, when I get home from work right now, I don't even, like I said, I am, I'm kind of lost, you know, I, I dated and stuff, but I think my, my self-esteem was zero, zero, and, you know, the dating and everything, it had to do, I, it just, I needed to feel 
wanted again. And and I'm I'm okay being alone now. And I think that was an important discovery on in itself was the fact that I'm okay being alone. When I was married, I spent so much time alone, but it's it was different. It was different. You know, knowing the person who was supposed to love me would rather be at the bar or with other women. It was devastating. But I don't I don't have to worry about that anymore and that has kind of a freedom. You know, now I'm I'm trying to take care of me. At the next lights, turn right. So, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Because like I said, it would be extraordinary circumstances. And I cannot believe my damn engine light is on again. At the lights, wow. turn right onto US yes. 301 South. Uh, I'm never going to be able to get back to Wyoming and take care of that storage. Because every time I try to get them in... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe. It'll be okay. So, I hope everyone has been having amazing days and enjoying the spring weather. And I will go for now. Have a good night.